How they feel being at Lakme Fashion Week as it celebrates 20 years. We have with us Mr. Praptej Singh Bhatia, CEO Simba, and Harleen Bhatia, co-founder Simba. Can you all talk to us a little bit about um, how this collaboration came about? What were you thinking about, and um, what you thought about the collection? Um, so, I, you know, we, when we think thought of ourselves, uh, uh, you know, so being associated with fashion, we obviously wanted a brand and a designer to work with that you know, we can relate to and our brand resonates with. And I think Kanika's uh, entire collection and you know, the way she is and the way she's brought in uh, her collection, I think it's very much, it's, it's as edgy, young, mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, it has a similar vibe. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we also discussed in our first yeah. meeting. It had a very similar vibe and we're trying to kind of be, rebel like you know, we're, we have that uh, rebellious uh, edge ambition. to our brand. Yeah, so that's, uh, uh, that's so I think we didn't even have a second thought. We like Absolutely. when we uh, thought of doing a collaboration, it was going to be with Kanika. And it was my idea, first of all, for <laughs> Kanika. <laughs> uh, all I can say is it goes with the roar. Kanika's brand and ours, it's a very wild, young, eclectic, as you said, edgy brand. And it, the ethos of their brand and our stand on the same line. So we thought, why not collaborate? Kanika. Yeah. So we've seen you I before mean, at Lakme Fashion it all. Week. Yes. No, but we've seen you before at Fashion Week and we know exactly what to expect from your collection. Yeah. But how did you bring their vision of their brand into your own personal aesthetic in this collection? So as I said, definitely there are so many elements that are already they were already sort of overlapping. Um, you know, especially uh, bold, again, edgy. Uh, very that sort of a young euphoric Why? vibe that's there. It's not like dark. It's very fun and you know you're just you're happy when you look at a bottle of Simba. You know you see the yeah. mascot and it's just like the lion screaming out, "I'm so cool." Yeah. So it's it's that vibe and and I think that's something that resonates extremely with our brand <laughs> because it's all about uh, you know being cool. It's not about age being a barrier that way. You can be cool at any age. And um, yeah, and I think when we actually did a couple of meetings, it was more about, um, we spoke about the two beers by Simba, that's Wit and Stout, and um, you know how there's a paradox that in terms of the flavors of both the beers, and we also sort of follow a similar paradox in terms of our prints that we've done this season, uh, wherein you know one sort of is more bold and the other one is uh, sort of more understated. So yeah, and that's how the sort of the design ideology came into being in the first place. Do you have a favorite piece in the collection, both of you? Absolutely, too many. <laughs> <laughs> but I if I had one, I love See, the red. You have two beers in your portfolio. Pick one design from her uh, collection that speaks to either one of them. Stout. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that goes with the red, uh, the, the entire red. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Um, is there anything you could tell us about the fabrics that you worked with, the design, the structure, the silhouettes? So, um, the whole idea behind uh, the collection was, uh, you know, just to sort of, in this whole fast-paced life, how we just always in a rush, it's more about sort of, you know, sitting back, uh, 
sort of relaxing, recalibrating, and again, going back in action and you know, refocusing. So beer is something that's extremely synonymous, synonymous with that. You know, you always, after a hectic day, you want to sit back, sip on your beer, and have a good time with your friends. So that, that was the starting point for us. In terms of the fabrics, we've used definitely, there's an array of fabrics that, that have been included in the collection. There's, uh, you've seen metallics in the collection. There are a lot of saturated tones, red definitely, uh, being also another Simba color, you know, the main signature, you can say. Um, and, uh, you know, neon tones that are happening. Uh, and then there are a lot of neutrals also that are playing. So, and denim, definitely we do every season. We've sort of uh, explored more in terms of the kind of denim silhouettes and the washes that we've done this season. So, yeah. I think um, one of her pieces, and a couple of her pieces say, uh, I, uh, I'm not a robot and a tick mark, yeah. and says, turn off, and what better, be, what better way to turn off than yeah. with this and <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I think on that note, I have nothing more to add because you <laughs> see when you leave when you're at a high, you just sort of walk away from there. <laughs> like, no so pun intended. But uh, I'm going to open the floor to questions if there are anyone that wants to ask something. I think one on one. one, -on -one? Yeah. See, that he knows where he's coming from. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much and congratulations you on your collaboration and the collection that we saw today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's roll for more. <laughs> for both of us. <laughs>